Welcome to the world of media and information literacy. So, I am Sir Melvin and let us think wisely, create smartly, and share information responsibly. So, it is Senior High School Media and Information Literacy. So, I am again Sir Melvin and let's talk about media. Today, wherever you will go, you can see any forms of media. So like when you are watching a film, reading a books. So that is an example of a media. Okay. So even you wake up or pagkagising sa umaga, there is a messages that being relayed to you with the use of your gadgets like cell phone and app. And one of the most is cell phone because that is the most every Filipino have for today's technology. You know naman yan, ano? Even the film you watch and the book you read and also from the photos, videos, and stories you read or you watch every day that is interconnected to be more uh, related to the life of other people. So, that's all is a form of media, media literacy. And we are the one who manipulated the media literacy because when we are not here, media is not going on or hindi siya mag exist Tama naman, ano? Because people made media so that people can use media and then dapat mas ma-develop natin ang paggamit ng media. Communication process begins with the sender, who is also called the communicator or source. The sender has some kind of information, a command, request, question, or idea that he or she wants to present to others. For that message to be received, the sender must first encode the message in a form that can be understood and then transmit it. The person to whom a message is directed is called the receiver or the interpreter. To comprehend the information from the sender, the receiver must first be able to receive the sender's information and then decode or interpret it. The message or content is the information that the sender wants to relay to the receiver. Put all three elements together, sender, receiver, and message, and you have the communication process at its most basic. But wait! Since we are in the age surrounded by different media, let us emphasize the medium, also called the channel. Text messages, for example, are transmitted through the medium of cell phones. And news is spread through television. And lastly, feedback. Feedback may be direct, such as a written and verbal response. Or it may take the form of an act or deed in response. We call it an indirect response. For example, after reading an information that COVID-19 virus can leave on surfaces for days, you did not give any comments or replies to the sender of the message. But it made you more conscious on the things that you touch and made you practice hand washing more regularly. That is an indirect response. In the first Do you know that as early as the first century BCE, people started breeding messenger pigeons in Europe? With an average flying speed of 50 miles per hour, and for their innate ability to find their way home across long distances. Incredibly, pigeons delivered the results of the first Olympics in 776 BCE, traveling from Athens, Greece to surrounding villages to announce the game's winners. Fast forward to today. Due to the advancement of technology, People can now communicate and disseminate information at a faster pace, anytime, and anywhere with the use of different media such as radio, television, cell phones, and emails. 
These are essential for the transfer of ideas. And to another, communication plays a vital role. Every human being has some ideas that are unique to his mind, like you. Many of these ideas can be implemented in real life and can turn into major creations too. But to make the transition from just a thought to implementation, it requires effectual communication. Hence, the idea should be communicated. It could be through a plan, a drawing, or in any media form. Second, for interacting with society. They say, no man is an island. We must have harmonious interactions with our surroundings and the people around us. Hey, Ma'am Andrea, what's up? Hello, Sir Brex. Look at this. Whenever we talk to someone, we unknowingly or knowingly react to his or her questions, actions, or comments. This is communication. Healthy communication is essential for a healthy society. At present, education involves a collection of all kinds of communication through videos like DepEd TV, audio recordings like DepEd Radio, books, and podcast lectures. Only through proper channels of communication can people be updated with current affairs and important events across the globe. And lastly, for entertainment. Moreover, the internet is another common platform for entertainment in our generation, which again is a mode of communication. In short, we can safely conclude that communication and entertainment are entwined in today's world.